What's up guys? The weather's getting cooler. Halloween is around the corner and that means we have another mystery flavor from Mountain Dew here. Mountain Dew Mystery Flavor 2024. This one just says soda. 270 calories. So the full sugar version. This one says zero sugar soda. Zero calories. Alright. So we're going to try this out, the mystery flavor. I love doing these. It's just fun to try to guess. Every year it seems to be some kind of a candy, which honestly, fruity candy, like, you know, in a soda, all always tastes the same. Once you find out what it is, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. But I think there's a lot of, like, uh, psychology that goes into that, too. Like, if you're drinking an orange-flavored drink and it's colored purple, and you see that it's purple and you're drinking it and someone goes, wow, yeah, the grape flavor is awesome. And it's like two or three people in the group all having the same thing at the same time go, yeah, that grape flavor is delicious. And they hand it to you. Your brain might be like, that's orange. But you're like, oh, yeah, grape. You know, maybe you start tasting it. There's, there's something to that. That's why all these are always clear. There's no color to try to give you any kind of hint as to what it is or even if it's, you know, like they purposely colored it wrong. They just don't do that. So anyway. Let's try the zero sugar first. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. <laughs> it's just fruity, <laughs> fruity sweetness. Man, you know, that's it. Oh, this one's gonna kill me because that is distinctively a certain candy and just on the smell, it smells so strong. It smells like either like strawberry or cherry. Oh my god, this is going to kill me. I mean, the, the other one might actually kill me because of sugar in it. I, but I mean, like, not knowing what it... Because, like, you know, you taste something blindly and you're like, oh, dude, I know what that tastes like. And it, it takes some time to really go, oh, yeah, that's what it is. And I, while I'm feeling this, I don't know if I'm going to guess it. Oh, it's so distinctive, too. All right, let's just drink it. Tastes just like it smells. Oh my god, wait. Hold on. That's an airhead. I'm sticking with that airheads for sure. Now the flavor airhead, that I don't know. Oh. This one's almost a little flat. It smells a lot stronger than it tastes. All right, let's try the other one. Damn, that, it really just tastes like an airhead to me a lot. All right. This one smells more lemony for some reason. Wow, like really lemony. Not helping. In fact, I feel like the other one tastes sweeter. <sighs> That's gonna bug me. All right, let me try the other one. I'm I'm leaning towards blue raspberry, but I don't quite know, man. It's just friggin' fruity sweet. I like how your family, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just watching this guy try the new Mountain Dew. Why? I don't know. I just watch him. <laughs> anyway. Some of you might watch my videos and just at some point go, why do I watch these? Like just random stuff. All right. Um, man. I'm going to stick with Airheads, but I just really can't pick a flavor. It's not distinctively blue raspberry. Like I said, it's a little lemony. It's just generally fruity. Blue raspberry is such a specific flavor, but... Oh, man. I feel like it's a culmination of all the flavors, really. Like a little of each, you know? But I, if I had to guess, okay, I'll go with that. Blue raspberry, Airhead. I don't know when they actually announce these. People just... Tell me later sometimes. 
it's not like there's like a big announcement on the news. Like, I don't even know, maybe I guess their website, you'd find out after Halloween, perhaps, or a couple months later. I don't know. I don't know when, let me know if you know when they announced the flavors that they were, because I'd love to know. But that's it. That's what I'm going with. Blue Raspberry Airhead. So, that's all for now. 2024 Mystery Voodoo Flavor. Thanks for watching. If you guys try this, of course, chime in. Let me know what you think, what you thought it was. Uh, I went to a different Walmart uh, and picked up a bunch of goodies. So, I, you know, you'll see in other videos some other stuff to, to try out. But another miss on that, uh, that bug out killer. That Ozark Trail knife that, you know, is like the bug out that people are absolutely loving. And, you know, everyone's making videos on it. And it's one of those things I feel like a day late, dollar short, you know. If I do actually find one to try out, I would love to get it anyway and try it. But... It'd be a beaten horse at that point. A million people have talked about it. You know, it looks decent. Ozark Trail Knives in general are totally worth the very small price tag. Now, when they were $3.95 or $3.97, whatever they were originally, or even $2.97, I think I, when I first kind of noticed them and started talking about them, they were like 4 bucks. And they're 4 bucks. That's amazing. Then they're 5 bucks and 6 bucks and 7 bucks. Now they're 10 bucks. You know, it's just, I guess that's just inflation. But it's still a deal. It's still cool. But eventually, you're going to go to Walmart, and it's going to be like $29 for an Ozark Trail Knife, you know? And it's like, is that a deal still? I don't know. But anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.